Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, drawing with Michael or Michael Claire to Arts or Michael Claire to Illustration. Um, so I've made a couple changes on the channel. Hopefully we'll get a few more viewers. Uh, it has to do with just branding and, and stuff like that. Content stays the same. Um, today I'll be working on the Surface Pro 5. Um, and I'll be utilizing, I've had a couple questions in reference to this particular device right here. This is the XP Pen Quick Key Remote. And how it operates is pretty simple. <clears throat> Comes with a little dongle. It's battery operated, a little battery goes in there. Dongle goes in here, whenever you just wanna put it in your bag and switch it between devices. So the dongle goes, here I'll go ahead and switch it on. The dongle goes in the side port of your machine. And then um, basically it becomes a quick key remote. So you can program the keys. It's got a, a center rotation wheel and a click wheel that you can go in and uh, do quite a few things um, in the programs uh, that you pair it with. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my little device here. <clears throat> Take the keyboard off because let's be honest, I don't use the keyboard. <laughs> Pretty much ever. Um, I like the kickstand too. <clears throat> so this little kickstand that comes out, the Surface Pro 5. I'm not reviewing this device today. I've had a couple people that have asked me to uh, do uh, illustration work on this device. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Pretty simple, right? Uh, this is the i5. Nah, it's doing something weird. What is it doing? Okay. This is the i5 um, variant, I believe the seventh generation, seventh or eighth, I think it might be the eighth generation of the i5 processor. So it's pretty quick. This is the 12.9 inch screen. Uh, the body's made of magnesium. So, but we're not gonna get into the review of this piece um, uh, of tech today, since I've already done kind of a quasi uh, review of it. <clears throat> okay. So what I did just then, this is the driver um, panel. So this is where you program your uh, XP Pen remote. You can have uh, a general, um, what do they call that? Um, just an over, you know, the, the defaults for the entire machine. And then you can go in and select which program uh, and you can add programs. So if I wanna add a program, so I've already got Fresco and Sketchbook in here. If I wanna add a program, then I go over here to the plus little section and I select the program, I hit okay. The icon appears here and then it's got a set of presets that are already in play. So I can go in and if I wanna change, like if I'm in sketchbook and I wanna change, let's say K3 and it corresponds to the button on the remote, K3. So I can go in and I can change uh, what I want. I can have shortcuts, I can have different clicks, um, basically going in and changing what that particular key does at any point in time. I've already programmed some stuff in here, so I'm not going to change anything. Um, I am, however, going to launch the program. Also, this has a little rubber um, ad uh, adhesive, little adhesive blocks on here. So instead of it sliding down, it, you know, you put it here and it'll stay. It has a pretty stout uh, adhesion, which is really nice. And it's and it's kind of textured too. So you can just put it up and, and kind of let it go. Um, <clears throat> so this morning, uh, I'll be working on a cowboy <laughs> character. Uh, with this particular device, actually I'm gonna switch it around. I might even thought about going vertical today. Nah, I'm gonna go horizontal. With this particular device, battery life is pretty decent um, for drawing. You get a decent amount of time. Actually, I'm gonna do the kickstand back because it's gonna help you guys whenever you watch. There we go. <clears throat> um, this device uses Intrig technology. So if you guys watched my video yesterday, I had a, uh, Let's go ahead, we're gonna change the setting on the pin. And I can do this on this device. 
What are you doing to me? You're embarrassing me, Surface. You're embarrassing. It's embarrassing when you mess up like that. Okay, so you can go in here and you can kind of mess around with the pressure sensitivity of it. A little bit heavier. Well, I like to keep it around six. Six seems to be a nice average for me in the way that I draw and the speed that I draw at. Um, <clears throat> so Sketchbook Pro, I've talked about this program before. It is a free program, or at least it was. Uh, it's the older version. I think the new version is on subscription based. But if you get the older version, um, not the 2020 version, but I think the 2019, this version is free and it works just fine. It's got a great number of tools up here. But I like to really start out sketching uh, using this particular brush. This is the standard brush that it comes with. And I've adjusted some parameters on here. And I showed this yesterday, I believe, or the day before, whenever I was working on the Dell. <clears throat> um, I have Sketchbook Pro on a myriad of devices. Actually, I need to change my glasses. Give me a second here. Okay, now I can see. For those of you who haven't reached 40 yet, hopefully you endeavor to do that. Um, don't put down on the 40 year olds just yet, especially if you're a, um, a 20 something artist. Eventually you will hopefully reach 40. And if you do, and you've been looking at a computer like I have for your entire life, then you'll understand why I need to put my eyeballs in. I used to laugh at my grandma. I used to be like, you're old. <laughs> Not realizing that eventually, hopefully, I would be old as well. And now my eyes, whoops, my eyes are distance and um, close up. So I have issues doing both, <laughs> which is always nice. So what am I drawing this morning? Um, so yesterday, I, I had the opportunity to draw something which really was awesome. And Go ahead, change my reference material here. Right. <clears throat> I had the opportunity yesterday to draw something that was awesome. Uh, I can't share any photos of what I was drawing, but suffice it to say, it was a lifelong dream. Um, and it was awesome. I get the opportunity to work on some really cool projects uh, for those of you who, who are just showing up. Um, and it always surprises me in the fact that I'm allowed to do certain things. Uh, you know, when I say allowed, obviously, you know, I've worked an entire career to have the opportunity to be able to work on these projects. So nothing is given. Um, but much is appreciated, <laughs> right? I, I Like I said, I got to work on an incredible project yesterday that uh, really has the potential to um, kind of level me up as far as where I am in my career. And, you know, you'll have these projects through the duration of your life, um, you know, ones that, you know, at the time, they don't seem like a, a, a really game changer, you know, but... Inadvertently, what happens here, let's go ahead and say this. Inadvertently, what happens is, you know, that particular project <clears throat> has legs. And let's do cowboy. Oops, I don't want to get rid of the dot here. Okay, so I like using the keyboard. I don't like using. <laughs> Mm 
You know what? I'm just going to save it as image too. How about that? What what happens in in in, in whenever you have the pen attached and you have the keyboard attached, it automatically goes to that stupid handwriting uh, program that I'd never, I'd never used that program, guys. <laughs> and I, I just think it's kind of ridiculous. So um, what was I saying? Oh, you know, you have certain projects in your career that really level you up. Um, you guys know that I worked at Disney and I know I've said that a couple times. Um, and I'm not saying that as a braggart. You know, I never want to be somebody that's go is like, man, I worked at so and so, and that makes me more important than you, and that's just ridiculous. You know, we all have stages um, in our careers. Uh, you know, wherever we're at, and you know, to think somebody is more important or has done something more appealing or or whatever is just ridiculous. I would never put down on anybody. I mean, at one point in time, guys. I, I, I interviewed for a job. Um, I interviewed for a job being an illustrator for dog costumes because I needed the money. And, you know, they were willing to uh, hire me. And, uh, you know, I started looking at it and I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, and at that particular point in time, I was really hard up for money. But, you know, great thing is, is at that particular point in time, I, I interviewed with a lot of places. So even though that company was ready to hire me, um, uh, another company ended up hiring me at the same time. So I didn't get to work on the dog costumes. Um, but I remember, I remember whenever uh, she gave me the catalog, she gave me the catalog. And I, I actually have an affinity for dogs uh, in costumes. Whenever I see dogs dressed as humans, I lose it. Uh, and I didn't know what it was for, and she handed it to me, and she's like, "Yeah, this is this is the product that I'm talking about. You know, we are, we're a company that that you know manufactures dog costumes. And and whenever she gave it to me, the the dog on the front was dressed as a um, a Jewish priest, and it was a Weimaraner, and and the dog had you know the full regalia, and it was dressed as a Jewish uh, a Jewish priest. And, and I looked at it and I thought. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose it. But I didn't. I was a professional. <clears throat> and it was just one of those deals where I, uh, you know, I didn't end up getting the job. But on the same accord, it really taught me a lesson in knowing that even though, you know, I might be doing something today, um, there might be a game changing career uh, move just around the corner. So for those of you who are kind of in the, I call it in the trenches. Um, just know that there's something really cool around the corner. And if you just keep plugging away, you know, just keep plugging away and you'll eventually, you know, make it or quote unquote, make it at the stage you think you want to be at. I always laughed at, uh, people not laughed. I was always, um, okay, we got this curve here. I'm talking to you and I'm messing things up. Let me get that over here. Okay. So if you notice, I'm doing a cowboy character. He's kind of coming at you. Um, but what I really want to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of talk and give you some story context, uh, while I do that, but why I just change direction. So I have this curve going up here. So now I'm going to have the eyebrow coming down and this eyebrow is going to come up. So I have it over here and then I have it over here to kind of give you a little bit of variety, right? And that was a conscious change. So then I have his mouth. He's got his mustache kind of coming out. And then I've got coming right there. You can see his like that. Okay. Now, what I was going to say is a lot of people have a definitive direction for what they think they're going to do or what they really want to do or what they think is going to make them happy in their career, as long as they get that, then they'll be fine. You know, it's like, and I, I'm guilty of the same thing. I'm like, whenever I work at Disney, that would be the utmost or Cartoon Network or wherever, you know, at that particular point in time, whatever I was thinking about. And I'm like, yeah, whenever I get that, then everything will be exactly what I want it to be. And that, unfortunately, is not the way it works. 
it's not the way it works because I know. <laughs> um, you know, there's always that next job. There's always that that next uh, whatever in your life, and it just you know, remember, it is a it is a, a fluid journey. Let's make him like this. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't like that. That doesn't make any sense. Can't have one eye that's like, huh. So let's go ahead and we'll give him this side a little bit of an eyebrow. But what I was trying to say is basically... Whatever stage you're at, really just step into it and enjoy it. Nice. You guys see that I'm using my, my little remote. I've got this programmed right now. So I press this button. I can zoom in and out. I've got this button as a control Z. So if I press that, it'll undo the last thing that I've done. And this right here is my, is my, uh, my, uh, my color sample button. So I can go around and sample whatever color I want. So it adds to my workflow. Okay. See? Control Z. All right. So give him some eyebrows because he's got these bushy eyebrows that come around. He's like, son, you don't know what I've been through. All right. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring this down, bring this down, and he's got his hair, so you got the top of his hat, where his head goes into his hat, right there, and then we're going to have this come out, right, and I'm going to have his a little bit wider, have his ears come out like that, out like that and he's got his ear over here so we got that hair coming out like that right so we're gonna put some value in there really quick here's his mustache comes up all right we're gonna have that come around here whoops i'm gonna have that whoops i'm messing things up i'm just messing it up You know, it would behoove me to just do this. <laughs> I've got it programmed in. Why don't I utilize it, dummy? Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to continue on refining, right? Since he's kind of out in the, the wilds of the West. Maybe he's got some wear and tear on his hat makes sense okay so I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do right here is I, I've got this curve in the mouth right here the top of the mouth and I want this to kind of go with his mustache so I'm gonna have it here here and then we're gonna have this kind of coincide with the curvature of his mustache have his lip come down okay I'm gonna have his teeth, all right, come like this. Okay, not bad. I'll go ahead and refine this a little bit. I'm gonna watch my silhouette. I don't want that. Yeah, let's go back. So here. Okay, so I'm gonna have that here. Okay, good. Okay, <clears throat> so maybe he's got a little bit of a, right there, bandana coming around, maybe. Good. Anyway, so what I'm basically trying to iterate to you guys is, you know, I'm not ever dropping, you know, certain big company names to show off. It's to show you that, you know, even though I did work at those companies, 
you know, that was a stage. That was a stage of life, right? I mean, we all have different stages that we go through, you know? It just depends on what you want. Okay, up. I'm kind of having that curved. You see how I have this curved going up? Because this leg is going up. So what that's going to do is it's going to raise everything up in this area. Okay, so I'm going to have the top of his leg coming down. And his gesture, he's kind of rounded right here. Okay, so I've got that like this. Oops. Oops. Yeah, we've got that like that. Anyway, the project that I got to work on yesterday was just so awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. I had the opportunity um, last year, um, it's already been produced and whatnot, to work on um, a uh, piece for Universal, you know, the, the project that I was part of. Um, for uh, Halloween Horror Nights uh, at Universal Studios Orlando and I believe in California and um, it was for uh, Killer Clowns so if any of you guys know that cult classic that Killer Clowns film you know very tongue-in-cheek very campy very funny but also a little disturbing you know 80s disturbing kind of like Critters if anybody's ever seen Critters um, very similar in feel to Critters. Make sure that we're on maximum performance here. We are. I just feel a little bit of jerkiness, which I haven't felt before on this machine. Kind of having the video card. Now, this particular machine doesn't have... Um, it's not the i7 processor, so it does have the i5, but it's a fast i5. But it doesn't have it doesn't have eight gigs of RAM. It's only got four. So just remember that if you're going to get a machine like this, I recommend at least going minimum um, eight gigs of RAM. <laughs> Double click that. Okay. Okay. Arm comes around. He's got his. I don't want that to be a, a skinny arm, so I don't want to mess up my silhouette of the of the wrist here. <clears throat> He's got his wrist that comes around. Comes around like this. And then he's got one, two. That one comes like that. It's kind of wrapped under. And he's like, son, I'll tell you what. Okay, what I was saying basically before I get interrupted by my own brain, which happens quite a bit. What was I saying? I don't remember. It'll come to me here in a second. So one of the things you should remember, especially um, doing things like this and cartoons and, and characterizations is the more you draw, the better you'll get, right? The more you draw the gesture, the more you look at people walking, the more you look at how cartoons move, you know, the more you do all that, the better you'll get. And that's one of the things that I always tell people is, you know, they ask, they're like, you know, how do you come up with the things and, or how do you do certain things or, or whatnot? And most of the time, you know, I say practice. It takes practice. It takes practice doing stuff. It takes repetition, just like riding a bike. It takes more doing it more than once to um to get fluent it's like speaking a language you have to speak the language every single day if you want to get fluent in it the language of art is no different you know speaking the language of art and understanding you know how things work um and how you can you know make yourself better is is part of the process so let's go have this arm come out. <clears throat> and I haven't gotten into the refine stage yet, so I haven't started putting in any of the textures or anything like that. Right? I literally, this is just a rough summation. I mean, this particular, the, the main parts of this drawing will not make it in 
to the final because I'll end up adjusting the gesture. I'll end up adjusting, you know, the uh, the overall feel of this drawing. And eventually, here, I'm going to have that knee come down. All right. It's got a suspenders that come out like this. Maybe I'll have some cow poop over here because he's a cowboy. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, what I was saying was, see, I remembered. In reference to the project for the, for the Killer Clowns, um, you know, I got to do the uh, 3D uh, sculpt on that, which was really fun. It was the uh, concept art was done um by one of the artists over at uh, Universal Studios, and I translated that art into a 3D environment, which is really cool. Now, I got to make some adjustments, obviously, uh, for production and whatnot, and then I had to go through licensing and, and, and stuff like that, but that project was fantastic. I got to really have fun, um, you know, doing, doing that project. Uh, for Universal, so that was a lot of fun. And I've, since then, I've actually uh, done many more other projects that will be coming through the pipeline that I'll be showing you guys uh, as we progress through uh, the uh, production timeline. So whenever something comes out, I'll do a video on it and I'll show you guys what I did and what I was part of. And that's completely okay in the context of the NDAs that, you know, I sign. Because I can't show uh, when it's in production, I can't show concept. But once it's out and about, then I can go and say, hey, you know, I was part of this. Now, you know, certain companies are very touchy about that. So it's always good to get permission before um, I do anything. And say, hey, you know, look at me. You know, check me out. Because a lot of times companies are like, well, we don't want you to say anything. And I understand that. Um, but also, you know, they have to understand that, you know, I, I, I run a business and, and, you know, showing that I'm part of it and, and promoting is part of the whole thing. But as always, I always get permission. I always make sure that I don't break the rules. And if they have a specific request, you know, they're like, hey, if you post it on social media, make sure you do this. And that's completely fine. Okay, so working on the Surface Pro 5, um, the, the surface area isn't that big. You can see in reference to my face, or, or to, my, to my face, this is not my face, to my hands, the surface area isn't really that big, but in turn, you know, I keep seeing in terms of, and I, I apologize for that. Um, you know, whenever you use a, a device like this, you always have to remember that, again, it is just a device, and, you know, you're relegated to the speed of the device, the size of the device. But if you mold your uh, self to be able to use this device in such a way that it benefits you, then I think the expenditure <clears throat> to um, buy a device like this, because I think the Surface Pro 5 back when it was new was about a grand. You know, you can get them a little bit cheaper now. This particular one I'm sure you can get for about 500 bucks. I traded this one for an iPad 5, uh, iPad 10, iPad Pro 10.5 because I wasn't using the iPad Pro and I already had a 12.9 so there was no real reason for me to have two iPads. So um, this, like I said, this device is great for what I'm doing it for, or not doing it for, what I'm using it for this morning. It's great for just doing simple sketches. Uh, you know, having some fun, you know, checking email, doing some simple stuff. Uh, glitch, I like that. Let's go ahead and add a layer. I'm still in that stage of determining what I'm going to do with this piece. Right? So let's go. These are all glitch brushes. Pixels. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put some stuff behind him. Maybe he's kicking up some dust, some pixel dust. 
behind him. He's like, son, I tell you what, there ain't nobody in the world that's going to tell me my business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Simple. Nothing too overly complicated. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. I'll add a layer because now I'm going to put in a little bit more value underneath. And then I can adjust that layer as needed if I go a little bit too far. All right, so we're just under my sketch layer. He's got that big 10 gallon hat. Kind of has a Yosemite Sam vibe to him. You know? Give him some. Let's go back here to my skin. These are snow brushes, so we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side to where I have my skin textures. Put a little bit of texture right here. He's got some sunspots on his fingers from being outside all day. Barking in the fields. Maybe let's go ahead and go back here. Mm, yeah, okay, so we'll make this a little bit smaller. Some brush. All right. So it's a bit of rock. Let's put a rock right here. Put a few pebbles right here. Just a simple little warm-up sketch. That's all this really is, you know. I'm not rendering anything. It's not like taking me forever. I'm just enjoying the calmness of the morning. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go back to that value layer right here. And I'm going to block in a little bit more. So let's get a little bit more contrast here because that makes sense to me. Have that down. We're going to go a little bit darker right here. Here. We're going to make this pretty dark. Make sure that we're all the way. It's kind of got a great connotation to it. Okay. Oops, too dark. So I did some tests yesterday on my, oh not yesterday, but the day before. Might have been the day before. Yeah, it was the day before. On my Dell. And lo and behold, I think it has Intrig. Which I, hmm. Intrig's okay. I say I hate it, but I don't. Because I'm using it right now. It works good. It works good for the most part. Most of the time. And right now it's doing something weird. I think it's probably updating in the background. You can usually tell that by the task manager, but I'm not going to launch that right now. So those of you who have Surface devices or those of you who have access to Surface devices, again, this is a full PC. This runs Windows 10. It's a great computer for doing some sketch work on. I think that overall, it's good. Does it have some hangups and some weirdness? Yeah. But what PC doesn't? <laughs> He's like, son, I will make you pay. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit taller, a little bit smaller. And eventually what will happen is I'll bring this to maybe a separate program. Or I might do it on here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we're all the way up here. Okay, so it's lagging pretty bad. I wonder what's going on in the background. Something's going on in the background. It doesn't usually lag like this. It must be updating or downloading. See, a lot of times it'll tell you, you know, let's go ahead and check because I have a feeling it's doing something.
Yeah, see, it's doing something right now, and I don't know what it's doing. Anyway, so that's one of the things if you don't own a PC, you have to deal with. That's why whenever I say, you know, take it with a grain of salt, because if you're an artist and you own a PC, there are things that you're going to have to understand that are going to happen. Now, should I have more control over it? Probably. But, you know, I'm willing to kind of look past certain things just because, you know, I like working on PCs. I think it's 100%. So let's go ahead and make that up. Make that a skull. So, yeah, we're running a little bit better. Like I said, I don't know. Sometimes it'll it'll do things, you know, you're connected to the internet, which I am. It'll do security scans. It'll do whatever it does because the basic default um, from Microsoft is to keep you safe. And if it does certain things like that, you just need to remember you could be working and it'd be lagging so bad and you not really understand why. You know, if I went to the task manager... Here's the, see, it's not even reading mine. So going to the task manager. Okay, and I go down. See, 77% memory. So something is hogging my memory. So I go down. Windows process, okay, 3%. Okay. So sketchbook. Sketchbook's taking 75% of the memory, but it's only 713 megs, so something's wrong. Because I have four gigs of RAM. Hmm. I don't know, dudes. Something's up. Something's taken. Because it's got more RAM. Than... Anyway, I'll figure it out. No big deal. So I think that's what I'm going I'm to show for you guys today. Just a simple warm-up sketch of a cowboy character. Um... I had changed the name of the channel. Again, the content stays the same. I changed the name because uh, in terms of search engines, you know, having just my name, Michael Claret, it didn't make a lot of sense. So I decided to change it to Michael Claret Arts, maybe hoping and thinking that that would change how the, you know, the search engine algorithm reads my channel. You know, I also am putting the name into the videos and also changing the names of the videos. I'm trying to get the channel to be built up a little bit more. So um, if you just see a couple things changed here and there, just know that uh, cancel. Just know that I am trying to build the channel a little bit more. Let's put a little bit of texture in here. Kind of dirty. He's got himself a dirty hat. So that's what it is. Anyway, this is a uh, cowboy character. Um, and I probably will be messing around with him a little bit more. So what I'll probably end up doing is going and let me see, and then I'll go in and I'll put him on a separate layer like this and go back. This is where the strength for the intrigue really comes out. Um, you know, you can go in and start just messing around, having some, you know, fun. Now, unfortunately, see the wiggle? <laughs> it does have a little bit of a wiggle, but you can put a smoother on it, and that kind of changes the um, overall feel. But anyway, thank you guys for uh, visiting the channel today. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. As always, I'm trying to grow the channel, so be patient with me, and we'll be posting more, and I can't wait to show you some of the new future projects coming up. Again, we are working on the Surface Pro 5 today using the XP Pen remote. Um, you know, I didn't really go into the whole details of this because you can, you know, it's got this little, you can use this to zoom in and out. Or if it's got the little button right here, you click it again. This changes the size of your brush. So let's go like here. See, changes the size of your brush. You click it again. And then you can zoom in and out. I like to keep it on, on the brush. So I don't have to keep going up here. Anyway, thank you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye.
I seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the sky's not cloudy all day.